incredible. Yeah. So how do you choose a horse for a client? How, how many horses do you have and how is that process of choosing the correct horse? Well, I have six to choose from and sometimes I just go by, okay, I know this horse is very steady. This person does not have a lot of horse experience, mm -hmm. so we'll start there. Um, other times, I, um, the horses are either in stalls or I might have a couple in the enclosed arena, mm -hmm. and people can come in and I see who might, which horse might come up to them and how they interact because sometimes the horses will pick a person. Oh, that's neat to know, <laughs> or not. Maybe. Yeah. Sometimes I'm sure. Sometimes it, it doesn't work out that way. I'm sure too. Have you ever had an experience where you thought, okay, this horse and this person are going to go together, and then you said, okay, maybe not. Maybe we'll change that out. Has that ever happened? Oh, sure. Okay. Because the the horses will let me know. Oh. And sometimes what will happen um, is somebody, you know, when I if I have a c couple people in a group. Some would be like, oh, the, the horses won't pick me, the horses won't pick me, or I hope they pick me, I hope they pick me. And because they have so much angst going on, the horses might not be drawn to that. Mm. Wow. So then that's the opportunity to look at, okay, so why wouldn't a horse pick you? And, you know, kind of talk about how, how they view themselves. It sounds like the it's a real focus on being in the moment, being, like you mentioned, being in the ring or whether they're outside, that you're just... You're there. You're not thinking of where you were or what you have going on because mm -hmm. the horses can sense that. Yes. Wow. Very interesting. That's incredible. And in this crazy world that we live I in, know. I'm sure they are constantly dealing with clients that are never really in the moment, but I'm sure they really have to be grounded and really there when they come to the sessions. Mm -hmm. Wow. Excellent.